Today we've got a look at cross-processing Fuji Sensia slide film. Coming right up. A few months ago I did an update on Kodak Ektachrome slide film where I touched on cross-processing. Well today we're cross-processing some Fuji Sensia 200 slide film that expired in September of 2008. So cross-processing, which is also known as XPro, is really just processing your film in chemicals that are different than the standard ones you would typically use. Now technically, when I developed my Cinesto motion picture film with C41 chemicals rather than the standard ECN2, that could be considered cross-processing. One of the most common forms of cross-processing is when you take slide or positive film and develop it with C41 chemicals rather than the standard or typical E6. And that's what we're going to do here today. Now, some people like to cross-process just for the aesthetics. They like the look of it, the different contrast, the uh, interesting color shifts that you get. My reasons were a little bit more practical. Number one, I just don't shoot enough slide film to warrant getting my own E6 processing kit for home use. Uh, number two, processing with E6 can be pretty expensive, so cost was a little bit of an issue. Number three, it can take a while to get your slides back from the lab. It can take a week or more before you get your film back. So for all those reasons, I decided to go ahead and cross-process my Fuji Sensia film with an old Sinisto C41 kit. Now, the cameras I used were my Canon EOS 300, my Canon Rebel T2, and my Holga 135BC. You may recognize some of the images at the end of this montage from my Holga Week 2019 video from last fall.
Not all slide film is created equal. Looking back at the ectochrome I cross-processed last year, those images had a very pronounced green cast of them, while the Sensia images had much more of a cyan tone. Now I like the way these images turned out, but I can't see myself doing much more cross-processing. I just don't come across slide film that often. I do have one more roll of ectochrome I plan on taking to a lab to get developed the proper or traditional E6 way, and I plan on sharing those images here. You can catch that video and help support this channel by subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications. Another way to help keep this channel going is to pledge support to my Ko-fi account. There's a link in the description down below. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, do some good, have some fun, and shoot some film!